All right, I'm here with Beth Kirkpatrick, Director of Ed Education and Advocacy for Heart Zone Inc. Uh, Beth, I wanted to start out and ask you a little bit about why should every PE classroom in the country be using heart rate uh, to measure performance? Well, for the last uh, 40 years, we haven't known anything more than we knew uh, when I started teaching. You know, how did you do in physical education today when it comes to moderate to vigorous activity? And we right now can't tell you that. We're prescribing exercise to groups of individuals when what we ought to be doing is prescribing exercise to individuals in a group setting. And what we should do is have a way to level the playing field so that the kid who's not in great shape, that the kid who is, has asthma or is on some sort of drug medications, um, like, you know, there's all sorts of things that are in their systems. We have about half of our clientele are not in very good shape, but we have to take them from where they are and take them and, and help them progress. And the only way I can see doing that in a certain time frame of 40 minutes, 50 minutes in a physical education environment is to have every kid have a heart rate monitor on and for them to know in real time what their heart rate is and then for me as a teacher to be able to reflect back up on that and even in real time for me to see their heart rate. And at the end of this whole time that we're, we're giving them this exercise prescription from a professional, a physical educator, we ought to be able to also give that information back to the parents and to the kids in an immediate fashion, which is following class time. And I'm pleased to say that in the, from the beginning in 1980, when I began using heart rate monitors to today, um, I believe that the mission is accomplished. We can now do that, and we can do it in a feasible manner and in a, in a very timely manner and with very little work to the physical educator who is already overwhelmed with incredible numbers.